Welcome back to another Remnant 2 video and in this Remnant 2 video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Crimson Guard armor set. This is a medium armor set that's really good against fire and bleed and only comes with the Awakened King DLC. If you're a fan of collecting some really solid armor styles or you just want some good bleed or fire resistance this is going to be the armor set for you. Just keep in mind if you're trying to go for this armor set you cannot do this through your one shot playthrough. This is going to be your very first playthrough of the Awakened King DLC. You're going to possibly have to reroll a couple couple of times until you get it to spawn on your map. Without wasting too much time, let's dive right on in. Now, the place you're going to be looking for is called the Gilded Chambers. The Gilded Chambers has only ever spawned in the location that you see currently on my map when I've tested it three or four times. It could very well spawn on multiple locations, but a good indicator from my very limited testing is it will be in this location. So if you're trying to find this place, it's very likely will be there for you. But take this with a grain of salt because I have limited testing. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to this next part because this is very important because I did test it a few times to make sure we get it right. What we're trying to accomplish in this zone is to farm these items called Crimson King Coins. These can only be dropped from specials. The ones that are like assassins that put like a curse on you, you can only get it from those enemies. And from what I can tell in my testing, they have a set duration which in the zone in which they will spawn. So this means you're going to have to put a little bit of time farming these coins in order to get this item. Now pay very close attention to this next part because I don't want you guys to make a mistake like I did. So at the end of this area, there will be the red prince, but you do not want to talk to him before you have all three coins. And most importantly, you do not want to talk to him before before you kill the one true king. There will be a checkpoint right before you go to his throne room, so that's where you're going to stop the initial playthrough if you haven't killed the one true king. Now the way I personally did it was I went through this corridor and got two out of the three of the coins because the third coin has a very long timer before the last enemy spawns for you to get it. Then I teleported out, went and fought the one true king, and then came back and walked through the area all the way again and then got the last spawn after I got to the checkpoint, respawned the enemies and got about halfway through going back. So just keep in mind, this last one takes a very long time. I'm pretty sure it's on purpose because my three playthroughs, I actually had to wait a very long time on all three of them. Now, once you have all the coins and you've killed the one true king, you're gonna come back to the red prince and you're gonna speak with him. And he has a very specific dialogue you wanna click where you give him tribute. Now, as you can see in the cutscene, he's going to kill you with his guards and then you're going to respawn. Now, what happens is he actually goes back to the chamber of the faithless and goes to where you fought the one true king and takes his throne. All you need to do is just simply go back Finish listening to his speech, and just like that, you have the Crimson Guard armor set. It has really good fire, bleed resistance, and some blight as well. And it's a really light set that works really well if you want to like maybe cosplay a fire build or something like that. Either way, it's a really nice set, so definitely pick this bad boy up. With that said, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you guys got yourself a really cool armor set. Again, this one's going to take a little bit of time investment to get, but it's well worth it in my opinion. Now, don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next Remnant 2 video very, very soon. Later.